I'm Kathy Vio. I am the dietitian here at uh, Goodfellow Air Force Base. I work at the Hawk, which is the Health and Wellness Center. Uh, the USDA changed from the food guide pyramid that we all know and maybe loved but maybe didn't love. Uh, and apparently people weren't understanding and getting the message that we need more fruits and vegetables, so they switched it over to the My Plate. You'll be able to see that what they're telling you on the My Plate is that one fourth of your plate should be lean protein, one fourth should be a grain or a starchy vegetable such as corn or peas or potatoes, and then half of your plate should be the fruits and the vegetables and all the color. And then also to round it out with a source of calcium. Some people choose dairy, some people choose not. Okay. So that's the basics of the my plate. So let's see how that fits into a typical day. All right. So what we have here is our typical plate. We have a eight ounce steak, we have a baked potato with sour cream and butter, and we have a little teeny tiny serving of vegetables. Okay. This is a thousand calorie plate. Right? The emphasis, of course, is on the potatoes and the meat, and the emphasis is not on the vegetables. Okay. So we take this plate and we swap. We swap out our eight ounce steak for a four ounce serving of chicken, which a four ounce serving of chicken is going to be about the size of a deck of cards. Right, and we fill it with fruits and vegetables. I got fruits and vegetables in season. We have roasted cauliflower and pears and apples and onions and carrots and these five and a little bit of red potatoes here. I didn't eliminate my potatoes, as you can see. I just kind of cut the portion down and increased all the other non-starchy vegetables. All right, so I have half my plate full of fruits and vegetables, and I still have my potato there. And then I added, of course, my extra color with the green salad and the tomatoes. And now I've taken my 1,000 calorie plate here, and I made it to about even less than 500 calories here. Okay, so we talked about dinner. Let's talk a little bit about lunch, all right? Okay, what we have here are two separate lunches. One is the way we probably typically eat, and the other is according to the my plate. This could be our typical meal. We have our sandwich with our six ounces. That's about three to four ounces of, of lunch meat there with a slice of cheese and some chips. And then, of course, when I throw on my mayo, oh my goodness, I'm adding another 100 extra calories to this plate. This plate right here weighs in at about 600 and some calories with not a whole lot of color. Right? So let's see how I can make my plate fit according to this plate. So I've swapped out my bun, my 210 calorie bun, and I added a little deli slin for 100 calories. I threw in a nice dark leafy green, which we want to get those whenever we can. I have the same amount of meat actually, and I threw in a little bit of cheese for flavor. All right, now I start to add my color. Now I start to make half my plate fruits and vegetables. Got a couple plums, some carrots, some raisins, and guess what? I even have some dark chocolate. That's my healthy fat. My plate here weighs in at less than 400 calories, and I can even add a salad if I want. Okay, fruits and vegetables. We talked a lot about adding fruits and vegetables to our plate. And one of the reasons I like to hit on is why. Exactly why do we need to add, add fruits and vegetables? And one of the reasons is because the color contains the nutrition, like I said, but it also contains properties that our body needs. We need these antioxidants. And, right? So that's one of the main reasons why we want to increase our fruits and vegetables. And another reason is because it really does decrease the calories. Let's look at some calorie comparisons as far as fruits and vegetables go. Okay, what we have here are some 100 calorie swaps. So I could have a mini muffin here for 100 calories, or I could go with two cups of blue blackberries for 100 calories. Which one do you think is going to make me feel more full and more satisfied, especially in the morning? And we talk about the morning. There's my 100 calories worth of a bagel, or I could have my 80 calories worth of blueberries. A whole cup of blueberries, only 80 calories. A typical bagel is going to run you between three and 400 calories. Right. Here's my 100 calorie serving of potatoes. That's a generous portion of potatoes. It doesn't need to be a big, huge monster baked potato. And here's my 100 calories worth of cauliflower. I don't even think I could eat that much cauliflower. But I could sure fill my plate up. Eight M&Ms. 100 calories. Mm, do I want those eight M&Ms? Or maybe I could be satisfied with two cups of strawberries. And that two cups of strawberries is going to have the same amount of calories as that half a Pop-Tart.
when the food guide pyramid changed over to the my plate, this wasn't the size of plate that they had in mind that, that people that we want people to eat from. This is a huge plate. You always think about, well, if you get this size plate, then you feel compelled to fill it up. Okay? But simply swapping out and having a normal size plate, a nine inch plate, okay, in which you have your serving of meat, your serving of grains, and your servings of fruits and vegetables. All right. Now you can fill this up and be very satisfied for less calories than if you were to fill this up. Okay, so to wrap it all up, all right, we have our two plates. We have our 1,000 calorie plate. We have our 500 calorie meal. For further explanation, for ideas, for um, coloring resources for the kids, or if you want to find your calories, there's choosemyplate.gov. Okay is the USDA website uh, in which it's all broken down.